so I'll remove this original sheets and I'll go to developers tab macro chart sample and what does it asks for so see this this is basically the input box enter the name of the worksheet so here let's say I want to um, write something like this Google and let's see what happens let's click on OK and uh, can you see here the worksheet is formed by the name of Google here so interesting here we have kind of understood and added another level of uh, uh, you know uh, way of you know creating the dynamic chart right so let's add the, this kind of an input box let's say in the chart title itself so let's let's try and do that so here you remember we had asked for the chart title let's do that for the chart title as well let's say chart underscore T is equal to input box enter the chart title and this is the variable and instead of these texts within the inverted commas I'll just write this variable chart underscore T okay and uh, let's see now if this goes well so I'll go back to my book one go to the developers tab macros run the chart sample and I'll click on run so here it goes it asks me for the chart title so let me just change for the sake of it this is the new chart title Google so this is what I have given as a chart name okay I'll click on OK so what it asks me for now it asks me for the name of the worksheet so let me give this as a new Google okay and let me click on OK so let's see what happens your chart title also gets updated and you your worksheet in which your chart gets moved also gets updated in the fashion you want so you can add as many dimensions as possible even you can kind of change your your access title as well by using the same terminology so the reason I wanted to just show you this is that it's kind of really flexible if you know where to kind of change this okay so I guess this is pretty much about it for uh, the charts uh, which is uh, for the column charts you can actually play with charts a lot using the column line pie charts bar chart there are many options here but more or less the fundamentals of VBS and macros will remain the same and uh, at the end please don't forget to kind of save your file so once we try and save the file you know you'll note that it asks you uh, let me do a control s okay so once I do a control s I wanted to save this in my VBA Excel file you must remember to save this as an Excel macro enabled workbook okay that is very important and let me name this hmm. column chart and save it